name is Mr. Evan and then today welcome to the Arturina Studio classroom. So today actually in our math lesson we are going to learn about what we call a place value table. Yeah, a place value table. So some of you might still remember or maybe most of you or all of you that would be great if it's all of you what is a place value table so place value table is a table that uh, tell you about the value of each number that you have yeah for example if you have a three digit number as a 432 you know that this is supposed to be written as four of the hundreds so I have four of the hundreds and then I have three of the tens and then I also have two of the ones. Now, what is the place value table look like? So in this part, let's just take this number and then go to the next whiteboard, the next thing, yeah? So in this part, this is called the place value table. But you know what? We are missing something. Do you know what is it? Yes, it is the name of each of the column. All right. In this part, as you can guess, you can already see the picture on the bottom of the table. This picture actually also uh, telling you or of what the value of each of the column. For example, in this part, I got ones because you can only see one of the cube. In this part, you will get tens because you can see tens, uh, one of the tens cube. And then in this part, you can see hundreds, one of the hundreds cube. And then in this part, you can see the thousand. Yeah. So this is what we call a place value table. So usually, place value table always be written, uh, always be presented with a picture. For example. For example, what if I got two of the hundreds and then I got several tens? I don't know what is it. Let's count it later. So this, this, and oh, it's not enough. So I'll just rotate it over like that. And then maybe I got just two lonely little ones. Yeah. Now the thing is, in here, what did you see you will see two shape of the hundreds so in this case you will write the hundreds as a number which is you write it as two yeah because uh, you write it as two and then in this part you write it as one two three four five you write it as five and then the ones you write it as two so in this case in this question you will have 252 up to this point you get it yeah okay but in the plus value table i want to introduce to you or i want to review a little bit about some question that might arise when we have an assignment the first things is value what is a value now for example in the 200 okay I'll just add another one so to make it uh, the number not the same I'll just add another one so in this part I will uh, replace this with uh, sorry with three this one also I will replace this with three and this also with three so the name change into 253 right value now for example what is the value, the value of the digit 5. What do you think? What, uh, what kind of answer did uh, the maker of the question expect? It? It's supposed to be, yep, because we have 5 tens and 5 tens equals to 50, then you write the value as... 50. <clears throat> you see, yeah? That is what we call a value. And later, there will be also another question that asks about position. What does it mean? I don't remember, mister. Let's see. 
position, usually the question will be like this. The digit 2 is in blah 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 position. In this case, if there are a question like this, you need to answer this as look, the digit 2, as you can see, it is staying on the hundreds column. So, you should answer the digit 2 is in the hundreds position. Hundred position. Yeah, it's showing the hundred itself. Okay, but you know what? The biggest trap that uh, usually all of you fail to see and then you forget on how to write it and how to pronounce this is actually the things that are very simple. It's what we call stands for. Did you remember what stands for? This is quite like easy, but if you don't remember on how to answer it, it will be wrong. For example, now like this. The digit three stands for what? That will be the question. Yeah. If you see a question like this, you need to think about where is the three. As you can see, the three is here, right? The three is here. So, uh, is here, right? Now, if the question is asking about stands for, you need to circle all of it, including the name in the column, and then you write it as it is. So the digit 3 stands for as 3 ones. Yeah, because we have 3 of it. 1, 2, 3. Maybe uh, there will be a question. Uh, maybe uh, in your mind, you're asking the questions, right? Oh, I don't know. Because uh, I can see what is in your brain. So maybe you you ask me a question like this: the digit five stands for what? Stands for what, Mister? What if I answer? Uh, because we have we have fifty of this, right? We have 50, 50 block of this. You answer it as 50 times. Is this correct? No, it's not correct. You need to answer this as before. I already show you the method. You are here. So simple all of it. And then you write it as it is. It is five times. Get it yeah? It's quite easy. It's quite easy. But even though this is easy, if you don't remember, you're doomed. But let's see. Let's practice again. So in this part, okay, I will erase this so, uh, so you will not uh, confuse. <clears throat> so in this part, I will use ones here and then pans and then hundreds, right? Now, as promised, I will go back to the first slide here as 432. I will write it in here as a numbers. Will you be confused with it? So 432. Yeah? But what if I'm asking you a question? For example, the value of the digit 3 is how many? I'll give you time while I'm doing the next question. Later, we're going to discuss together about the answers. Yeah? Number 2. How about the digit? I'm going to change it a little bit. The digit 1 well, is in the Hundreds place, hundred place, and and has a value of what? 
see, it's getting harder, but I think no, it's not harder, it's just like you have to answer more than usual. Number three, the digit four stands, oh sorry, stands for what? Okay, I'll give you time. Okay, now we discuss. So, I think everybody will got this correct because this is still like the introduction of the place value in the hundreds place. It's supposed to be very easy. Now let's see. The value of the digit 3 is... Yes, as you can guess, it is 30. Mister, if I write it as this, is that okay? So I write it as 30, is that okay? It's not. You need to answer value with numbers. Yeah, remember that. So you should answer it as 30. Yeah. But now the digit what is in the hundred place. Digit what? Yes, you can guess. It is four. Good job. And has a value of how many? Yeah. It's the same as this. You just have to write four. Right? But the digit 4 now stands for what? So if you pronounce it, it will be nearly the same as what we call the value. Why? For hundreds. But if, if you write it, it, it needs to be different. Yeah? You should write it as 4 hundreds. Yeah, 4 of the hundreds. Okay, up to this point. Did you get it? I hope you get it because if you're not, then you need to replay the video and start from the beginning again. Make sure that you get it because you're going to need this knowledge until you are grade 6. Okay, bye for now and then see you in, the, in my next video. Bye!